Parts of our area saw record homicide numbers in 2023, which bucked a, national, a nation, nationwide trend where numbers went down mostly. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Ashley Rowe. Last year, the city of Raleigh recorded at least 33 homicides. Meantime, the city of Durham recorded 49 homicides. Fayetteville, a city with a smaller population, had the same 49 homicides in Fayetteville in 2023. That's a record. WRL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays talked with the city's police chief about possible reasons for that rising number. Well, it's a dubious record that no city wants. Last year, more people were killed in Fayetteville than in any previous year. And one of those murders happened outside this Family Dollar. Um, he was running and it started over here at Family Dollar and then he ended up um, getting shot in the back right over here um, and he fell in the front of the barbershop door. James Daniel Jr. is part of an alarming number. He's one of 49 homicide victims in Fayetteville last year. He was a great young man. He, he, had a, he was a caring. He would give the shirt off his back. He would always help people. He was very amenable. He was never disrespectful. 49 breaks the record of 48 homicides set in Fayetteville back in 2021. There were 44 homicides in 2022. Police Chief Kim Braden says his department is doing everything it can to mitigate the violence. You know, we do our best uh, to use the word you had, mitigate. You know, if we see something happening, we, 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 we realign what we're doing, put officers in an area where we can best respond to the things that we're seeing going on live right now. Braden says during the past three decades, the city's population and size has more than doubled. He says, in addition, the city has had an unprecedented year where several juveniles were killed. Uh, we have the, the five-month-old, Brooklyn, who just, just recently in December, and going all the way back to, you know, those three incidents where these infants have died due to gun violence, you know, those are situations that their parents sort of placed them in. They were with their parents at the time that they, they, they were killed. The police chief says there were actually 51 deaths here in Fayetteville last year. He's waiting on the medical examiner to determine if two of them are actually homicides. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. And again, while some parts of our area did see more murders in 2023, as we said, that's not the trend nationwide. Last year, more than 8,900 people were killed in the United States. That's down from more than 10,000 the year before. That's a 13% drop. Still, these numbers are all much higher than a few years ago. The numbers now are still higher than what we saw in 2019.